When you think of the Lance, immobility is the first thing that comes to mind, but it's also totally incorrect. In Monster Hunter Cross, it's fast, furious, and versatile. Welcome to my guide on the Lance. Hey guys, this is Gaijin Hunter. What follows is my weapon tutorial from Monster Hunter Generations. And if you already know everything from it and you just want to jump to what are the changes in Generations Ultimate, about the new art, alchemy style, and valor style, jump to the timestamp in the description down below. If you're new to Generations or you want to have a refresher, please sit back and enjoy the entire video. More than most of the weapons, the way you approach the lance greatly depends on the style that you're using. But that being said, every style is still based on guild style, so let's take a look at that one first. The draw attack is a nice, powerful forward thrust. From there, or from idle, the lance has two types of thrust that you can do. The X button does a forward thrust, and the A button does a slightly more powerful upward thrust. You can chain three of them in a row, and you can mix and match forward and upward as much as you please. While the upward thrusts do do slightly more damage, they're also easier to miss with. The big change to Lance and Monster Hunter Cross affects each style except Striker, and that is the third thrust. Instead of just doing a third normal thrust, you'll do what they call the Strong Thrust. It takes more time to do, but it does do three hits. This of course is great for elemental damage or status weapons, but it really changes the 1-2-3-1-2-3 rhythm that many Lancers are used to. After any thrust, you can backstep by pressing B, or sidestep by pressing left or right on the circle pad and then B. This resets the combo, so you can do a thrust, thrust, step, thrust, thrust, step, and so forth if you need to avoid the lengthier strong thrust. One big advantage the Lance has over Gun Lance is that you can do three steps in a row, and you can even mix them up. It's worth noting as well that if you press backwards on the circle pad and B at the exact same time, you'll do a giant back step instead of a normal one. Now outside the standard thrust attacks, you can press X plus A to do a swipe. This attack has what we call super armor, so you won't get knocked out of it if you get hit by a teammate or a small attack during the animation. This attack works just like a normal thrust, so it can be swapped in and out for thrust during your three hit combo. Now the lance doesn't have that shield for nothing. Press and hold R to guard. The lance and the gun lance have the strongest guards in the entire game. During a guard you can press X to do a guard thrust. It's a little slow but if you aren't sure that you're safe to attack it's a good way to poke at a monster that might be in your face. Hold forward and press R and X to do a guard advance. During this entire motion you are guarding so you can use it to safely get close to a monster. It's also worth noting that you can do this after a sidestep, so you can sort of even chain them together. Press X at the end of a guard advance to do a shield smack, which does some stun damage which is pretty nice, and also has mind's eye, so it'll never bounce off a monster no matter how hard the part. And of course you can follow up the guard advance shield smack with a normal thrust. Press A while guarding and continue to hold R to do a counter. You'll charge up for about 2-3 to three seconds, and if you get hit during any of this, you'll counter the attack with a powerful strike. If the attack that you're guarding is large, and it would normally result in a medium knockback, the counter hit actually does 3 hits just like a strong thrust. The longer you charge up before the counter, the more damage you'll do. If you can charge to the end, meaning that you were able to preempt the attack, you'll do a lot of damage. You can tap R and A, but just release R, and you'll do a counter cancel strike. This is especially useful if you realize that you really didn't need to go in for an counter attack, or also as a safer attack, sort of like a replacement for the strong thrust. Now the Lance has a bunch of different combos depending on how you mess with stuff, so have fun just figuring out and finding which one works best for you. With thrust, massive side and backstepping, and counterattacks and guard advances, you'd assume that that was all we needed for the Lance, but there's actually one more huge feature, which is called the Lance Charge. Press R plus X plus A, or just tap the special icon on the touchscreen, and you'll run into a charge. You'll keep on running until you run out of stamina or hit something hard. 
During the run, you have a few different options. During the charge, you can press X to do a strong finisher thrust. Or you can even press B to jump in the air. And if you press X while you're in the air, you'll do the jumping finisher. Or you can even press back on the circle pad and press X to do a turnaround smack. Every single one of these finishers have a motion value of 50, so not one is any better than the other. Not that you would really want to, but you can press B in the middle of a charge just to plain old stop. Finally, we have the jump thrust. You can even go straight from a jump into a lance charge by pressing R, X, and A while in the air. And finally, we even have a guard advance off of a ledge. If you do this, you'll be guarding all the way down and you won't get hit. Phew! Talk about a powerful and versatile weapon, huh? Okay, next up, Aerial Lance. In Aerial Style, you'll lose the back hop and the guard advance. But instead of the back hop, press B and you'll do a forward aerial hop. If you connect with something during the hop, you'll do the aerial jump, and from there you can press X to do the aerial strong thrust. This also works if you have your weapon put away and you just do the normal aerial evade. Next up we have Striker Style. Let's face it, Guild Style is not that good for evade lancing due to the strong thrust, but no fear, Striker actually has the normal third strike for both the forward and the upward thrust. So what does it lose? the ability to do side swipes by pressing X plus A, which really isn't a big deal. And the jump and turn around attack during the lance charge, so all you can do during the lance charge is to do the standard finisher. But as an added bonus, the finisher on the lance charge is a whopping 70 motion instead of 50. Please check out my video on absolute evade lancing to see it in action. Finally we have Bushido style. Bushido is very much like guild style, except you give up the ability to do a guard counter, and instead you get the Bushido guard. After a Bushido guard, you can press X to do a special Bushido counter. You can actually wait for almost a full second after the guard, and press a new direction using the circle pad to adjust your orientation, so don't be so trigger happy to press X. One thing to note is that if you fail to do a Bushido guard, the first second or so afterwards before you go into a normal guard, if you get hit, your guarding capabilities will actually be degraded by one level. So it certainly is high risk, high reward. So you're not going to be able to just sit there in a guarding position with this style. Guard is meant to be used aggressively and on the spot. Now before I go over which styles I think are best and why, let's take a look at all the special lands hunting arts. The first one is called Shield Assault. You'll do a forward charge really, really fast, even faster than the normal one, and you are invincible the entire time. This is really great for just making sure that you're always on the monster, and again, it charges really fast, so you can use this quite a bit. The second hunting art is called Screw Thrust. This does a really big charge up and then an upward strike that has distance that is further than the tip of your lance, so you can actually do this at medium distance. At level 3, it does a total of 7 hits, which is pretty darn powerful. The final one, and most insane, is called Guard Rage. You'll go into a counter stance, and if you get hit during it, you'll take in that energy and use it to charge up the power of your lance. At level 3, the effect lasts for a whopping 3 minutes, and if it's a weak attack that you guarded, it'll go up by 10%. 20% for a medium attack, and if you guard a really strong attack, it will go up a whopping 30% for a full 3 minutes. That's pretty nuts. Now for some final thoughts. Guild style and Bushido style are really similar. You give up one hunter art and the guard counter to get the Bushido guard, but the attack you can do from the guard and the fact that you don't need guard plus armor skills with Bushido makes me think that Bushido will win over guild almost every day. Striker is the only style with the traditional 3 hit combo, and all the lance arts are really good, so Striker style is kinda where it's all at. Also if you are an evade lancer, I'm assuming you probably want Striker style as well because you get the nice standard 1-2-3. Aerial of course is great in its own right. The lance had a controversial revision with that strong thrust, but the Striker style ensures that we have options available to us, and the Bushido style is just an absolute powerhouse with the ability to use guard lancing 
without actually needing any guard plus armor skills. So in my eyes, Lance is super strong in Monster Hunter Cross. Changes. In guild style, you can finally counter or counter cancel after the final hit of the three poke combo, making guild style a little bit better than it was in Generations. For Hunter Arts, the Shield Assault now has less of a window of an opening at the end, making it a little bit easier to use. Alchemy Style Just like the other weapons, you can whip out the Alchemy Barrel after an evade by pressing R plus Y, but for Lance, you can do it after a step as well, which is pretty nice. You can also equip three arts or designate any or all of them as SP arts as well. As a price to pay for the right to use the barrel, you'll lose the counter, swipe, and the turnaround finisher for the running charge. As kind of a bonus, you can do a guard advance by holding R and pressing A instead of X, which makes it a little bit easier to do after doing a sidestep. Kind of a shame that the third hit in your main combo is that strong poke, but if you're into that, then I suppose it doesn't really matter. Valor Style While not in Valor mode, you're going to lose a lot. You'll lose the ability to do the large swipe, counter, and even the running charge. If you hold the Y button to do the Valor Sheath, if you get hit during this, you'll automatically put your weapon away and only take 30% damage, or there are two cancel attacks that you could do to build, build up gauge. Hold Y and press the X button to do the cross swipe. Or hold Y and press X plus A to do a running charge. The key to Valor Mode is the new move that you'll unlock by pressing X plus A. It's a small shield advance that works sort of like a guard point, so you can do it with inside of a combo, allowing you to continuously hit the monster and guard things at the same time. And if you press X and A after you do the shield advance, you can do a charge or you can hold R and press A to do a counter, aka those moves that you were missing are now behind this new move. It is a pretty technical style, but if you can master this move, then you can do a lot of cool stuff. New Hunter Art. At level 1 it lasts for 30 seconds only, 60 for level 2, and 90 seconds for level 3. Each time that you guard an attack, you'll recover some health and those around you will also recover some as well. This activates for all guards, so guard advance, adept guard, and valor shield advance all count. The amount that you heal for at level 3 is higher than it is at level 2, but the art is quite usable from level 2 if you ask me. If you think about it, this basically eliminates all chip damage you might take while guarding, and it also heals your teammates that are around you, so it's a lot more useful than some may think. Overall, the Lance remains super solid. Striker remains the most popular style, Adept the most safe, and the new styles are interesting as well. The new art is cool, but Guard Rage is way too powerful to pass up, so if you're using a style that only has one art, that should be the one you use. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you did, subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, happy hunting.